Okay, so it's the end of the season, and I'm just gonna kind of go over what I wore this season, uh, and a little bit of what I have planned for next season, for as far as what I'm wearing. I really like Climb; it really has treated me well. Um, but uh, yeah, let's jump into it. If you watched some of the other videos, you've probably seen I wear this suit a lot. Um, it's a lock saw, the Climb lock saw. Uh, I liked it a lot. Like it a lot. Um, it did take a little bit of getting broken in. It was really tight or really stiff at first, but after I've got it broke in, it works awesome. It was super water resistant, um, waterproof. I don't know what you call it. My favorite suit of the year, probably my favorite suit I've ever had. Next, you probably saw me wearing this and I've been wearing this in the spring a lot. Uh, this combo, this 509 jacket with these climb stealth bibs. I've had these bibs for a long time uh, and they're cooked. So I'm probably gonna get some new bibs for next year because I really liked having a coat pant combo. Um, as far as outerwear, this is pretty much what I wore. I had a few others that I would wear every now and then, but this was my main setup. Um, for outerwear next year, I did get, uh, a 2B coat and bibs that I'm excited to try out. Um, <clears throat> seems really nice. Um, I was worried. So some of the features that I look for on my gear is something where you'll snap in and hold the gator down. Um, on the climb, I didn't know this for a long time when I first got a climb one piece, but there is this little loop that you put this through so it holds your gator down and holds your pant and your gator down. Uh, this does not have it, but I think it'll be okay. Hopefully. Anyways, um, so that's kind of that's kind of going to be my setup again next year, I think. Uh, other than I'm going to get a new pair of bibs. Probably not this stealth. Again, well, one I don't think they make it, and two, I want something a little thicker. Not thicker, but just a tougher material. This has been pretty hammered. Um, okay, this was my mid-layer. Uh, just my go-to mid-layer. Pretty thin. Um, comfortable. Uh, kept me warm and cool. I'm not a very picky person. So, that worked great. This was for my really cold days. Now, this is a really cool jacket because... It's like down insulated, um, only where you need it, right? So like under your arms and on the back, it's got like kind of a little bit more material like this, but it's not quite that thick. So it's really just keeping you warm where you need it. Um, this was a really great coat this year um, for the really cold days because there were some days that were super cold. Um, really liked that. Um, so we'll go to my helmet. My helmet is a 509, um, which one is this? I can't remember which one it is, but it worked really good. Um, I really like this helmet. I like the quick buckle feature that it has. Um, doesn't smell horrible, so that's good. Uh, these goggles are awesome. They are the ones that heat and um, have a fan. And I heard they came out with some new ones for this year that are gonna be even better. Um, so I really enjoy this helmet. Okay, for gloves, I really like these powder cross. They're thin enough that I get really good grip on the bars, but thick enough to keep me warm. Um, so, I mean, yeah, I wear these most of the time. Um, Cause they're just kind of, for me, a really good all around glove. Um, I might get a new pair next year. I don't know, we'll see how I feel. When that time comes, but uh, I feel for me they're warm enough to wear on really cold days and cool enough to wear on medium days. I also really enjoy the inversion. These are the inversion GTX, which are great gloves. Also, I have the inversion and they work great. Um, and we have to get a new pair of these because I ripped the palm in on one of them. So, uh, Beacon, I have a black diamond peeps. Beacon works great. Um, neck warmer, I just wear this thing. 
And then I also have a baklava that is a little more windproof. For really cold days, I'll double up this and that. Knee pads. I wear the Mobius. Um, these are really great uh, pads slash braces. They've uh, gotten me out of some, kept me safe from some pretty bad things happening to my legs and knees. Um, probably need to get new straps. But other than that, I've had these, man, I've had them for a long time and they've worked really great. A bunch of my buddies, a bunch of pros wear these. All right, this is something I didn't use every ride, but when I had it, it was awesome. For parking lot stuff, this climb like race jacket is super warm, super comfortable. Um, they're a little hard to find, but man, if you can find something like this, it is worth it. It's awesome. I love it. Uh, parking lots. Uh, we took it up one time. I think we took it on a little ride when my friends wore it. She wore it most of the, uh, for the ride and kept her warm. But it's it's fantastic, especially I get cold in the parking lots. So that's kind of my gear. Uh, if you have any questions, um, oh, boots. I just wore Klein boots. Um, uh, two different ones. But uh, yeah. Anyways, yeah, I really enjoyed, you know, actually I didn't have a problem with really any of this gear here. Uh, anyways, thanks for watching. Um, yeah, if you have any questions, make sure to let me know. Uh, we're going to be back at building some sleds here soon. Hopefully building some sleds. I got some, <laughs> some things in the works, videos every Wednesday and Saturday, shorts every day. We're doing a live kind of what's happening in, out in the snowmobile world slash side-by-side -side world every Tuesday. So check us out.